Hey, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to properly flare the HVAC copper tubings. Now, I'm going to show you the tool that I use. I'm going to show you everything that you need to know so you, it takes a little bit of that scurriness out that you can get the job done and get it done right. Let's take a look and I'll meet you back here. Okay, if you want to get flares like this, that are nice this one here actually is a factory flare that really isn't all that great um, it's kind of offset then you have the smaller one which this one isn't too bad but it's still not great so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to make make some of the best flares that you can make with this item here um, I tell you what I love this thing it's really a great item that you can use that has all the different sizes of course um, we'll stay on the half for a minute and uh, what this does this does if you look at this right here which is really nice see these bumps I'm pretty sure you can see those okay what that does it actually smooths out and helps from cracking uh, cracking the flare so you can actually crack these pretty easily and not even know it which is going to cost you a whole lot more once you do that and have to <laughs> pay for another line okay another cool thing is when you have this open like this and say you're going to insert your tubing because this item here is down it has a stop right there and what that does is it says okay I'm good to go bring that up and that stop goes away then you just tighten this down like so and then put it in front grab your handle I usually do it with my other hand the other way but that's all right okay and it's gonna take you to where you're just gonna snug where you know you're kind of bottomed out and then you yeah, go ahead and remove it unscrew this just so this will pop out of this little uh, holster and there you go very nice I didn't even clean this one up before I did this nice flare even flare all the way around and like I said you can do this you can do this and you can do it with all these different sizes most of them are going to be quarter inch and half inch uh, if you're doing on the HVAC so that just turns like that and this one down here turns and there's your stop it really works great I'm gonna have a link to this in the description because I, I you're gonna to love to have this if you uh, don't already have one and it's one that you can buy it's compact it's you don't have a bunch of uh, pieces that you have to put together you just slap that dude in there and just give it a crank and you're ready to go now as far as the cutter the cutters as long as you have a sharp will it you know because I use a different one I use a small one this one's actually a pipe cutter because I'll actually cut conduit with it but this one here you can use it for this but I want you to remember anytime you do this okay you take it to where it just snug you don't want to do any harder because it what it does and just start it and every turn give it a little bit more of a snug and the reason for this is 
it gives you a good start but it doesn't smash the tube it's very easy because a lot of these tubing are thin so it just doesn't uh well there you go sorry about the noise i like these because it comes with this and it just really does a good job and remember to always hold it downward so so you don't get any shavings inside that stay there so there you go that's how you do a proper flare okay let's go ahead and I'm gonna do one more okay yes throw this dude in there it hits its stop let me get this back out okay what you want to do is go ahead and hold this down go up to the stop again make sure that's ready to go into its socket and you don't really even have to do that too much uh, let's go ahead and and just get her tightened down as you can see in there it just smashes it right into its cup all of these have cups and they're the right size okay and there you go very nice right angles so pick yours up today this is the yellow jacket 60 20 78 uh, made in America and just works great so I would say get one of those and one of these and put it in your toolbox see it really isn't that bad is it it, it works well that tool I'll have a link in the description for you you're gonna love that thing I mean it just like I said you don't have it all in pieces like some you don't you know it just is compact it's right there can be used at any time real quick and it does a great job You'll save more money with it than hire an HVAC person to come over and do it for you. But please, if you would, subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, and it does wonders for the channel. Thumbs up. That's another one that really works well. But what works the best is if you can share this video on Facebook, on Twitter, on some of the groups that you might be on, that this may help someone else. And that's what we're doing it for, so we can help everybody that needs the help. So please do that if you would, and I'd appreciate it. So until next time, I will see you. Have a fantastic day. Hey everybody, I just want to say thank you for watching the video all the way through. I surely appreciate it so much. And if you haven't already, you can click this button right here to subscribe. That would really be great. It doesn't cost nothing, and you get really cool stuff coming. Hey, you can also take a look at right here and right here for other cool videos. But I do appreciate it, and thank you so much for supporting the channel.